Hello all. In this video, we will learn uh, how to solve the recurrence relation of an algorithm using the substitution method. The substitution method is uh, nothing but substituting a given function again and again until the function is disappear. For example, suppose we have a recurrence relation of t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus n. If n is greater than 1 and if n is less than or equal to 1 then t of n would be 1 so this is a base case so let's try the substitution method as we know that it is nothing but substituting the given function again and again so if you need to find out the com time complexity of t of n which is given as t of n minus 1 plus n you need to substitute the value of t of n minus 1 from the same relation so I just substitute the value of t of n minus 1 as t of n minus 2 so just put n minus 1 here here and here and write it here so t of n minus 2 would be so here uh, t of n minus 1 would be t of n minus 1 2 plus n minus 1 plus n similarly so this n is the same one similarly we can have t of n minus 2 would be t of n minus 3 plus n minus 2 plus these two terms are right as it is so n minus 1 plus n similarly i can find out the value of t of n minus 4 plus n minus 3 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 1 plus n or if for the kth term it would be t of n minus k plus as you can see that at each term it will negate the value one less than this one so for if it is k then the next term would be uh, so suppose for some kth step it would be n minus k minus 1 plus and so on at last it would be n minus 1 plus n so this step is converted into the base case if i put n minus 1 n minus k as 1 because i know the time complexity of t of 1 that is constant that is order of 1 or we can say theta of 1 or you can say omega of 1 so for t of 1 i know the time complexity so i convert this whole function into t of 1 so that the function is disappeared so for that i put or assume that n minus 1 is equal to n minus k is equal to 1 or you can say that k is equal to n minus 1 i put the value of k here so now it would be t of n minus n plus 1 plus n minus this would be n minus 1 minus 1 plus and so on n minus 1 plus n or I can write like t of 1 plus this would become 2 plus n minus 1 plus n or the same relation can be written as this t of 1 is 1 as given in the function and this again uh, next term is 2 plus and so on n so this is nothing but the summation of first n natural numbers which can be written as uh, so I write it here the first natural number the summation of first natural number can be written as n into n plus 1 by 2 or n square plus n by 2 or you can say that the time complexity of this relation is order of n square because we can ignore the lower order terms in this one so this is how we can solve the recurrence relation using substitution method let's solve another example using the same method
So suppose we have a question like T of n is equal to T of n by 2 plus C if n is greater than 1 and it is B if n is less than or equal to 1. So let's try, uh, try to solve this question. So for this one, uh, I write here t of n is equal to t of n by 2 plus c or you can write t of n by 2 is equal to t of n by 2 to the power 2 plus c so I just put the value of c here so this previous c is also copied so I write it here c now I put the value of t of n by 2 here so again next is the t of n by 2 by 2 would be t of n by 2 to the power 3 plus c plus c plus c uh, similarly <coughs> let's say at kth iteration it would be n by 2 to the power k plus k into c okay so as i know the base case that is n is equal to 1 i make or assume that uh, let n upon 2 to the power k is equal to 1 or you can say that n is equal to 2 to the power k and the value of k would be log n so i can replace the same with my assumptions is equal to k dot c or you can say that 1 plus k dot c so t of 1 would be b so here i can replace b plus k of c or you can say that the value of k because uh, I have to find out the time complexity in terms of n so I need to replace the value of k here so it is like b plus log n into c or you can say that order of log n because you can ignore the constants here so the time complexity of this relation would be order of log n base 2 okay so let's solve the another questions of the similar type So I write it here T of n is equal to 2t n by 2 plus 2 if n is greater than 2 and it is equal to 1 if n is less than or equal to 2. So let's try to solve this question. So we will write here t of n is equal to 2t n by 2 plus 2. Okay. So I just replace 2. The value of t n by 2 would be 2t n by 2 to the power 2 plus 2 and then we have plus 2 okay so just multiply the 2 inside it and try to solve it it would be 2 to the power 2 t n by 2 to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 okay now again try to solve it and the value of this t n by 2 to the power 2 so it is would be t to the power 2 I just make a bracket and write down the value it would be 2 t n upon 2 to the power 3 plus 2 then I just copy the rest of the terms here so it would be like this 
now i solve it try to solve it so it will be 2 to the power 3 t n by 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 now for kth term the formula is like 2 to the power k t n by 2 to the power k plus uh, i can write here 2 to the power 3 so if if it is k i can write here k plus and so on 2 to the power 3 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 2 okay so to for the base case because if n is less than equal to 2 then it will become the base case so i need to put here the condition for the base case here so let us assume so here i can write here let the n upon 2 to the power k is equal to 2 or you can say that n is equal to 2 to the power k plus 1 or k plus 1 is equal to log n okay so we can use these terms in our equation so i just write it here 2 to the power k dot so the 2 to the power k value would be nothing but i just replace the value of kth term so i just replace in after some time so i just replace here plus uh, this is nothing but a gp so we can find out the summation of gp here the summation of G, this gp would be 2 into 2 to the power k minus k minus 1 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 okay so now uh, for this one 2 to the power k of t of 2 the complexity of t of 2 would is 1 plus you can write here 2 to the power k minus 2 okay or i can say that the 2 to the power k would be n by 2 from this equation and into 1 is nothing and 2 to the power k would be n minus 2 so the complexity of the relation is order of n i just ignore the lower order terms and the constant complexity would become order of n so this is the solution of this equation so in the last it is 2 to the power k will become n by 2 plus 2 to the power k will become n and minus 2 and the complexity will be order of n so similarly we can solve the another uh, recognized relation in the next video lectures thank you very much